Rutherford? Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be at Martha's rest? My lord, Marcus, is that you? It is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's rest, at the behest of your lord uncle, tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the Seven High Houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times, even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose... I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. So if someone here has seen something. Mummy. The gentleman of the town guard. Are you looking for something in particular? My thanks. Go with Gilbert.
Someone's got himself in trouble. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then? If you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. <laughs> Expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before, then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. But I arrived in Dalimil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more, and his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free, only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. You won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's mate. Could be anywhere. What happened here? If you're with the others, They've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. 
I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach, visit the Vale, tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. They just couldn't resist, could they? Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. 
I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a pistolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish, as it is mine. Use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own.
Blade! Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners.